the boys are ready to burst into our everyday lives, filling them with humor and testosterone. Recently, the release date of the fourth season was officially announced, and along with it, the rumors about the fifth season were confirmed. The series isn't going to stop, continuing to immerse us in the world of badass superheroes. While waiting for the release of the second trailer, which should tell us more about the plot, let's discuss the latest news. What awaits us in the center of events? How Generation Vi affects the fifth season? And finally, what changes will affect the main characters? All of these questions will be addressed in the next few minutes. Sit back, because it's going to be an interesting time. Let's start with the most important one. The date for the return of The Boys has been announced. The third season was coming out in the summer of 2022, which means a two-year hiatus between seasons. This period was eventful, including the arrival of Generation 5, but the reaction to it was not universally positive. The announcement features Homelander and Victoria Newman, now a congresswoman. This is probably a hint of her upcoming political success. Newman's establishment in government will make her a new target for the boys. However, the promotional poster could also be a reference to Homelander's birthday. According to the poster, the guys returns on June 13th this year, which means an unbearably short wait. In addition, the first three episodes will be released on the premiere date, which is a real boon for the long wait. Given the upheaval in the Hollywood movie industry due to the strikes, movie makers' plans for 2024 have changed noticeably. Many planned movies have been pushed back to later dates. The only major superhero project left in the first half of the year was Deadpool 3. DC is currently going through a rebirth period. Madam Web, as we know, has something going wrong so the boys have been given the full green light to fill that gap. Immediately after the announcement, rumors of a fifth season surfaced online. This isn't surprising considering that Generation 5 was renewed almost immediately, which was confirmed back in October. It also means that the extension of the Patsax is inevitable, as the series is closely related and develops in the same time stream. As we've already noted, the appearance of Homelander and Butcher in the spin-off finale wasn't a simple cameo. The events of Generation 5 are the starting point for the fourth season confirmed by the showrunner of the series, Eric Kripke. He also added that the finale of The Thugs will trigger similar events in the second season of Generation 5. There is also unofficial information that the characters of the Patsax will play a more important role in the spin-off sequel. Contrary to rumors that the franchise may end not in the main series, but in additional lines, there is no official confirmation of this yet. But the filming of the fifth season of Patsanoff is scheduled from April 8th to August 22nd this year. The interdependence of the projects suggests that in the fourth season, we can expect an expansion of Ryan Butcher's role. The sequel focuses on Billy and Homelander's fight over Ryan, making the actor more independent. The trailer hints at signs that Ryan may repeat the path of his biological father. This is tragic, considering he was originally under Billy's care. There are also hints of a possible return of Jensen Ackles' Soldier Boy in season four. All of this suggests that the guys and its spin-off continue to work closely together, making it seem like season five will have a major impact on both projects. However, at this point, Details about the plot of season five remain in the realm of rumor. There is no such storyline in the comics. Butcher kills Ryan as an infant when he begins to manifest his immense powers. Thus, the moral conflict between them and Homelander could go either way. The trailer has already hinted that Ryan is showing signs that he may become like his biological father. This is especially tragic considering that he was originally under Billy's care. So it's no surprise that the emphasis in season four is on this storyline. Another interesting point concerns Soldier's character, Jensen Ackles. In the comics, he is the leader of a superhero team called Payback, and often acts as the opposite of the corrupted heroes. In the series, his backstory and personality have been changed, making him one of the more interesting characters. Recently, Ackles hinted at Soldier's possible return in season four. 
While the actor is unsure of his plans, he emphasized that the door is not closed for the character's return. Soldatic's appearance in Generation 5, even as a vision, was a great surprise for fans, which likely opens the door for his return to the franchise, though not necessarily next season. Soldier's story isn't the only change to the series. Unlike the original comics, The Dudes is a loose adaptation, and that's only in the show's favor. Usually, general hints of plot development can be found in the comics, but the guys made changes to the story and characters from the beginning in order to give them more depth. Many questions are raised by the revival of Black Noir. There is footage of someone wearing his costume and taking the position as if nothing happened. In the original comics, Black Noir was a clone of Homelander, but in the series, he turns out to be a super, replacing his predecessor for no apparent reason. In this way, the adaptation of The Goonies continues to provide a fresh take on familiar stories, while maintaining its uniqueness and unexpected plot twists. This provided an important plot bridge for their relationship with Homelander. The question of whether Noir will become a clone of the Head of Seven is left open. Express your thoughts on this in the comments. Interestingly, in the comics, every member of Team Butcher has superpowers. Some of them are born with these abilities, while others take the drug V to have an advantage against superheroes. This creates drama, as now that Boucher and Huey are taking the drug, it becomes clear that too much exposure to it could lead to their deaths. To their knowledge, they only have 12 to 18 months to live, and the effects are irreversible. Perhaps one of the storylines will be the search for the cure. Starlight will reportedly be working with the kids' team on a full-time basis after leaving Vought. Some might have heard about actress Erin Moriarty's criticism of her revamped face, which was not to the fans' liking. The appearance experiment is considered a failure, and Erin even deleted her social media accounts. However, unlike many cases, nothing like that happened with Starlight. One of the interesting things about the upcoming season will be the introduction and reveal of the new members of the Seven, Firecracker and Sister Sage. This choice is not only about agenda and inclusivity, but also reflects the approach of the writers, who deliberately changed the gender of a number of characters. Madeline, Steve Stormfront and Victoria Newman were male in the comics. And here, the roles have been reimagined to reflect current trends and the creative decision of the writers. Turning them into women in the series radically changed their relationship to the Homelander. It was this change that brought his psychological trait, known as the Oedipus Complex, to the forefront. Homelander desperately needs female acceptance because of his unconventional childhood, which makes some of Homelander's closest allies women. The boys emphasize this characteristic every time. However, he also found serious support from the public after the third season, which was an outlet and will probably be further revealed in the series. It is also known that the Queen will reappear in the guise, but this time she will be stripped of her superpowers after her battle with Soldier Boy. How big her role will be is not yet clear, as she was not seen in the promo materials. As for Jeff Dean Morgan's role, judging by the trailer, his character will be an ally of Boucher, he is rumored to be given the role of Joe Kessler, known as Monkey in the comics, who was an analyst in the CIA used by Billy to get dirt on superheroes. Despite the excitement of his presence in the series, his role is expected to be small, as insiders claim that he only had scenes filmed with Carl Urban. This is sad news considering his successful role in The Walking Dead, after his role as Negan. The important issue of the superhero virus which was the center of attention in Generation 5, remains important. Why everyone has remained stubbornly silent about it remains a mystery. However, it is likely that during the fourth season, this issue will resurface and play an important role in the plot. So far, this is all the current news concerning the boys. The series is one of the most anticipated projects of this uh, year, and expectations from the fourth season are very high. Share your opinion in the comments, what you love the boys, and what you expect from the continuation. That's all for today folks, see you very soon.